With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's solve the question. So it is asked that the met metabolic pathway that takes place during the formation of carbon dioxide is so the options are glycolysis, fermentation, electron transport chain and reduction of acetaldehyde. So the formation of carbon dioxide uh, takes place during cellular respiration in animals. So we'll check on with the options in which the carbon dioxide is produced. Firstly, the process of glycolysis it takes place in the mitochondria and uh, in this process what happens is that glucose which is a 6 carbon compound will be converted to pyruvate and this pyruvate will enter into the citric acid cycle and it will produce uh, release carbon dioxide by oxidation and uh, hence ATP will be produced as a result. So this is the process of glycolysis taking place which will release carbon dioxide. Next coming to the fermentation reaction. In general, uh, the fermentation reaction follows the production of ethanol from glucose. Ethanol or any alcohol from the sugars and which will release carbon dioxide. So let's say yeast is fermenting glucose into ethanol and carbon dioxide. This is a universal one, universal fermentation reaction which will produce carbon dioxide. But when we look into the metabolic pathway taking place in the animals, the fermentation process will take place during anaerobic respiration when there is no oxygen. As we saw here, that is, uh, this one is called as aerobic, uh, the glycolysis which we saw earlier is called aerobic respiration wherein oxygen is present so that the pyruvate is converted to produce carbon dioxide, right? But when there is no oxygen at this stage, what will happen? So just like that, as we saw earlier, glucose will be converted to pyruvate and from pyruvate, since there is no oxygen, now what it will lead to is the production of lactic acid by a reduction principle and not oxidation which is taking place, okay? So now here there is no carbon dioxide. So the only fermentation reaction which will not produce carbon dioxide as an end product is the uh, lactic acid fermentation. Okay, so this process is called lactic acid fermentation which takes place in the met, uh, metabolism. Coming to the third uh, one which is called the electron transport chain. Uh, this is a very important uh, procedure in the cellular respiration and during this high amount there will be the movement of electrons from one molecule to the other uh, in different compartments of the mitochondria and during this you can find a, a rich production of ATP. So hence the energy of the cell will be enriched. Okay. So now this is called uh, electron transport chain and there will be no carbon dioxide involved here. Coming to the fourth option which is nothing but acetaldehyde reduction. When will this acetaldehyde reduction take place? So we'll see that. As we saw earlier, it's going to be the pyruvate as the starting molecule for the acetaldehyde production. And this will be decarboxylated. Decarboxylated means there is a release of carbon dioxide here which will produce acetaldehyde and this acetaldehyde will be reduced to form acetate and from acetate the acetyl-CoA will be synthesized.
Now this is called reduction. In the option it is given that the reduction of acetaldehyde that is at this place and from here to here there is no carbon dioxide release and you can't say this to be a, re a reaction which will form carbon dioxide. Whereas the previous reaction wherein the acetaldehyde is formed from the pyruvate that reaction will produce carbon dioxide since it is a decarboxylation reaction. So from the given options above the only reaction which will produce carbon dioxide will be glycolysis. Option A is the correct answer. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.